Shen Wu's new regenerative rotary hearth furnace direct reduction iron making process. The crude steel production in China has reached 823 million tons in 2014, which accounts for 49.5% of global production. And iron ore is the feedstock for iron and steel industry and the important material foundation for the rapid development of economy and society of China. Although China have abundant iron ore resources of more than 60 billion tons, they still cannot satisfy the raw material requirements of blast furnace iron making process since most of them are lean ores or refractory ores difficult to be utilized. As a result, over 70% of the iron ores required in China rely on importation and this has seriously affected the smooth and sustainable development as well as the security of China's iron and steel industry. The new regenerative rotary hearth furnace process innovated by Shen Wu Corp can produce high quality iron raw material from the following resources that cannot be utilized by the blast furnace iron making process. One, low-grade refractory iron ore, such as oolitic hematite, ultrafine magnetite, limonite and siderite, etc. 2. Composite associated iron ores, such as VTI iron ore, lemonite, VTI bearing sea sand, high phosphorus iron ore, chromite, pegite and lateritic nickel ore. 3. Solid wastes containing iron and non-ferrous metal from iron and steel enterprises. 4. Residual slag from non-ferrous metal industry, such as those generated from extraction of aluminium, copper, lead, zinc, tin, nickel and sulfuric acid. Large-scale clean smelting by simply using the common low sulfur, low ash carbonaceous substance such as coal, biomass, scrap rubber and plastic, etc. As the reductant can be realized to supplement and substitute the iron raw material for the iron and steel industry, requiring no coke and without the high consumption and high pollution facilities such as sintering plant, coking plant and blast furnace, etc. This process has passed the national level appraisal organized by Chinese Society for Metals, who considers it reached the international advanced level in September 2012. Through breaking, screening and fine grinding procedures, raw materials with FE content from stockyard will be kept in storage in feedstock bin. The iron-bearing raw ores and the carbonaceous reductants are uniformly sent to the feed belt by the feeder under the feedstock bin and then sent to the feedstock bin by the belt. Set movable belt over the feedstock bins so that the materials can be easily stored in each of them. The feed stocks are sent into the dryer via the feeder. The dried materials are sent into the proportioning bin via feeding belt conveyor. The binder is uniformly sent into the intensive mixing system via the feeding belt conveyor. After mixing in the mixer, the materials enter into the pelletizing system to make qualified carbonaceous pellets, which are then sent into the green pellets drying system. Dried pellets from the dryer are sent to the screening system via belt conveyor. After that, the qualified dried pellets enter into Shen Wu's regenerative direct reduction iron making rotary hearth furnace. The carbonaceous pellets are uniformly distributed on the furnace hearth via material distributing device. Inside the RHF, the wall, roof, and burners are kept stationary while the hearth rotates driven by the hearth mechanism. Heating with Shen Wu's regenerative burner, the carbonaceous pellets can be gradually reduced while going through the preheating zone. 
middle temperature reduction zen and high temperature reduction zen by means of controlling the in-furnace temperature and the rotation rate of the hearth. The metallized pellets of approximately 1000 degrees centigrade are then discharged out of the furnace with a specially designed discharging device. The gas exhausted from the rotary hearth furnace together with that exhausted from Shenmue's regenerative burner will enter into the waste heat recovery boiler after second combustion and the system thus produced will be sent into the steam network or for generating power directly. The gas exhausted from the boiler will be exhausted into the atmosphere after being cleaned via the de-dusting system. Through dust removal system, valuable metals such as K, N, A, P, B, Z, N will be recovered effectively. Based on the difference of the prices of electricity and coal, as well as the transportation cost among different countries or regions, there are three iron making processes available for metallized pellets about 1000 degrees centigrade from the rotary hearth furnace. Process flow 1. Iron and slag separating process, adopting grinding and magnetic separation. Process flow 2. Iron and slag separating process, adopting electric furnace. Process flow 3. Iron and slag separating process, adopting high temperature fuel gas furnace. Advantages of Shen Wu's regenerative rotary hearth furnace. 1. During smelting process, there is no high energy consumption, and high pollution device such as coking, sintering, blast furnace, and no need to use coke, semi coke, coking coal, anthracite as raw material. It only uses common steam coal as raw material. 2. The reaction temperature of blast furnace iron making is about 1500 degrees centigrade, while the reaction temperature of Shen Wu RHF direct reduction process is about 1250 degrees centigrade. The energy consumption is therefore significantly reduced. 3. Adopting the regenerative burner technology innovated by Shen Wu Corp, the heat efficiency of RHF is further enhanced and energy consumption of iron making process is further reduced. 4. The blast furnace iron making process needs high grade ore with over 60% of iron content, while Shen Wu RHF direct reduction process can adapt to all kinds of low grade refractory iron ore, composite associated iron ore, lateritic nickel ore, iron bearing solid waste of non-ferrous metallurgical industry. The 100,000 ton per year VTI iron ore RHF direct reduction iron making plant of Pangang Group. The 300,000 tons per year metallurgical sludge RHF direct reduction iron making plant as well as the zinc recovery plant of Jiangsu Shagang Group. And the 800,000 ton per year RHF direct reduction iron making plant of Tianjin Rock Czech Steel Group. All of these have witnessed the success of the technology. The technology has already gone ahead of the European and American countries by at least 10 years. 
and is currently being promoted home and abroad. It will win discourse rights for China in the global mineral resources market. Shang Wu Regenerative RHF Direct Reduction Process